Hey there, YouTubers. Uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while. Um, obviously, with this pandemic, things have gotten really hectic for me. So, don't have a lot of time to mess around with, uh, with dioramas or with figures. Um, so, I will show you something that I've been working on even pre-COVID. I've been making one of these roller tools to help with, um, you know, doing some uh, effects on the, uh, on these styrofoams. And this is basically a roller that I made to have like a cobblestone effect. Uh, most people you'll see use much uh, shorter PVC pipe and probably thinner diameter. I just happened to have this laying around and this was the shortest one that I had without having to cut it myself. Um, but you can see I used a Dremel. Initially I actually kind of drew on the uh, PVC and kind of made a pattern and then I would Dremel into it but that got very tedious and boring. So instead I just as I dremeled it, I kind of re-eyeballed it and just kept dremeling. So you can see one consequence of that is that some of these stones, quote unquote stones, are smaller on the ends than they are kind of in the middle. Um, but I'm okay with that. And you can see if you're doing it yourself, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make it kind of deep. Uh, you can see I actually punctured holes in it. Um, but the deeper it is, the more likely you're going to be able to press down um, and get a nice good effect. Um, you know, I could have probably even made my lines even uh, between the stones even thinner. Uh, that way there would be less space in between these stones. Um, but you can kind of see the effect that it made. I even did them on the sides in terms of rolling it. But uh, let me show you an example of this. So let me pop this down right here. And hopefully, actually, no, if I do that, it'll hold it perfectly. So here's a blank side of this one that I've already kind of rolled a little bit. And I'm just going to place this right here on top, apply pressure. Let me go this way apply pressure as such and roll so let me just get the other end here and obviously the more pressure you you apply the, the better the grid will be so you can see that's nice. Um, all I have to do is paint it. Don't have to do so much carving anymore uh, when making this stonework. And because this is so long, I can, you know, if I'm using small pieces like this, I have a variety of different patterns, endless patterns I can make um, using this. So pretty cool. I'm glad I did it. Um, you know, my hand Dremel, the charge is maybe about half an hour. Um, this, for all this, it took me a real long time. Um, I'd say half an hour I could get about that much done. Um, so let's say one, two, three, four, at least six sessions. It was probably longer. Maybe it was like 45 minutes per section like that. Maybe even an hour. So I would say this probably took me minimum six hours worth of time to do. Probably longer. Um, but now that I got it, rolling cobblestone will be very easy. Um, I could probably make ones for just 
a regular brick pattern too, um, just to get as good an effect, uh, so that I can easily roll out these patterns without having to etch it myself. So um, I would highly recommend if you're a dial maker that you consider doing this because it will ultimately save you time, especially if you're doing a lot of dios. So I hope that helps you all, and I hope uh, if you have any questions that you'll you'll leave a message and I'll write you back uh, when I can. Obviously, we're still going through this pandemic, so it may take me a little bit to get back to you, but uh, I'm just glad you guys are watching and stay safe. All right, thanks.